everybody! So today's video, I've got an unboxing for you. So I'm trying something a little bit different today. I'm filming with my iPhone to see if that changes the video quality. So if I'm glancing over here, I'm really sorry. I keep looking at myself in the screen instead of at the camera. So I need to put like googly eyes over there or something. Anyways, so I've got an unboxing for you guys today. This is a Lit Joy Crate box. Uh, they're just another kind of a bookish subscription box. It's the usual thing. Uh, you pay cer a certain amount a month and you get a box each month with the, this is particularly the YA box. They do a little kid box and then they do a middle grade, uh, middle grade box. I think they do it quarterly. Anyway, so you can go and check them out, um, their website, I'm pretty sure, just Google Lit Joy Crate. I'll put their information down below. And um, so yeah, so I've always been really impressed with their stuff. I think it's really, really fun. The only reason why I don't have a permanent subscription is because uh, money's a little tight. So, but whenever they do some, whenever I see a box that really, really interests me, I usually go and get it. So I have another one that I'm gonna unbox once I get it. I'm really, really excited for it, but I'll show this one to you guys today. So this is just their normal monthly subscription box. And the reason why I got this one was because the artwork that they showed to promo or to promote it was a picture of Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. And it's my favorite video game. And so I was like, well, I know it may not have anything to do with Horizon Zero Dawn in the box, but I really, really wanted it just because Aloy was on the promotional picture. So let's go ahead and open it. So I got my handy dandy scissors here. Um, I think the prompt, it was just sci-fi. It was like a, it was, it's a sci-fi book of some kind. So here we go. And there's paper. So let's see, let's see what's inside. Share the joy. It's a little sticker that says share the joy. All right. So it looks like we've got our little Oh, that's interesting. So we've got our little booklet here. It's got some beautiful artwork on it. And then on the back, it's got their August theme, which is Catwoman. So their August one, I mean, includes a signed copy of the book by Sarah J. Mass. So this is next month. This is August. But this is just a little booklet that shows you what's in it. So I'm not going to peek yet. Got some wormies here. Just throw those on the ground. And we've got something what is this it looks like a looks like a pillowcase or something so let's open it I can't open it and and you oh it's a pillowcase so it da, da, da. am I holding it right side up no I'm not <laughs> I am a leaf on the wind watch how I soar it looks like it says it's from Firefly. So that's pretty, that's a really pretty cover. That actually, these colors are my aesthetic. <laughs> I really like these colors. So that's really cool. Oh, awesome. Oh, nice. So I got this cool pin from Star Wars. It says Rebel Scum. Awesome. My husband will like that. I'm a Sith Lord myself, but that pin's really, really cool. I like that a lot. And then I've got a little, <laughs> oh, it's a little, it's a little picture holder and it's got a little baby Groot on it, but it's a little, a little clip that you can hold a picture on and just stick it on your desk. That's so fun. Looks like we got a bag, a tote. Awesome. It says I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> that was that was awesome. So this is from Guardians of the Galaxy, um, part two, volume two. So I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. He's my favorite character. I loved him. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, very nice. Um, this little bookmark says, take me to your reader. <laughs> and then on the back, it just says sci-fi. That's a cute little bookmark. I like that a lot. It feels good. It's like that buttery you guys know what I'm talking about when sometimes those covers have like the buttery whatever on them, buttery feel. Oh, here's what I wanted. This beautiful picture of Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. I love this video game and she is gorgeous. Whoever did this artwork, Maggie Rose Studio. So right, right there. 
Anyways, yep, that'll go up on my wall. She'll go up next to my figurines. Maybe I'll just use this little group picture. Here, I'll do that. And she can just go up right behind me, right there. Awesome. Okay, and here's the book. So the book is called Sanctuary. Now, I don't know anything about this book. Um, I think I tried to look up what the book might have been um, when they announced what the uh, when they announced this July theme or whatever and I was really really curious and so let's open this baby up it says it's an exclusive lit joy crate exclusive signed copy okay so lit joy crate they started doing like this exclusive like trading card thing now so they've got this queen of spades but I don't know who they are I mean the artwork is really 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 good but I want to guess that this is from um, Cinder I want to guess that that one's from Cinder I want to say that that's Cinder and Prince Kai I think his name is I'm gonna guess but I'm not entirely sure oh so I found out what the cards are so these little trading cards this is uh, Queen Lavana. I'm going to be reading the next book in the series um, soon. I'm going to be reading it for the August Magical Readathon Challenge, the, the newts that I talked about in an earlier video. So I'm going to be reading the second book, but yeah, and then this was Kai and Cinder. So these are pretty cool. They're like actually really nice quality cards and they've got these cool backs to them and stuff. And anyways, yeah, these are pretty cool. Looks like we've got... Oh, it's a little letter from the author, so you can read from from Carla, Car, Karen Karen Licks. That's her name. Oh, so it's got like some beautiful artwork in it. That's I think that's Litjoy exclusive. Oh, and we've got the signature right there. Cool. So yeah, I don't know what this book's about. So it says, Kenzie holds one truth above all: the company is everything. As a citizen of Omnistellar Concepts, the most powerful cooperation in corporation in the solar system. Kenzie has trained her entire life for one goal, to become an elite guard on Sanctuary, Omnistellar space prison for superpowered teens too dangerous for Earth. As a junior guard, she's excited to prove herself to her company, and that means sacrificing anything that won't propel her forward. But then a routine drill goes sideways, and Kenzie is taken hostage by rioting prisoners. At first, she's confident her commanding officer, who also happens to be her mother, will stop at nothing to secure her freedom. Yet, it soon becomes clear that her mother is more concerned with sticking to Omnistellar pro protocol than she is with getting Kenzie out safely. As Kenzie forms her own plan to escape, she doesn't realize there's a more sinister threat looming, something ancient and evil that has clawed its way into Sanctuary from the vacuum of space. And Kenzie might have to team up with her captors to survive, all while beginning to suspect there's a darker side to the Omnistellar she knows. So, that sounds cool. I've been meaning to read more sci-fi, and so I've been looking, you know, trying to find some really, really good um, sci-fi recommendations. So we'll see how that one goes. You know, maybe I'll pick this one to. Um, I'm going to read it soon. Maybe not during not during the book tubeathon, but this one looks really interesting. So I'll let you guys know how I like it. Anyway, so that was a Lit Joy Crate unboxing. I've got another one that I'll show you uh, when I get it. It should be coming hopefully tomorrow. Um, it's a special edition crate that they do and so I'll but I'll tell you guys all about it later Anyways, let me know if you have any questions and as always thanks for watching. Bye